Well, this Saturday, it is all about family at the Virginia Beach Sports Complex for the 11th Annual Kids Fundango Festival. Here now to tell us more are Regina Marshider from Stop Abuse and Virginia Beach Sheriff Ken Stolley. Both of you and you, welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. Thank you so much. We love being here. Well, we love having you. So first, let's start with you, uh, Regina. Tell us and bring us up to date on this big Fundango Festival taking place. Well, we're at the end line here getting ready for our fabulous event, the Kids Fundango Festival at the Virginia Beach Sportsplex. Mm -hmm. All kinds of wonderful entertainment, sports clinics, workshops. We have some wonderful uh, celebrities and uh, gold medal winners, uh, Jan Trombley and Latasha Clark, Beth Anders. We have DJ Dozier with us. Wow. It's going to be an amazing, amazing day. And this is fun for the entire family. Fun for the entire family. It's the number one family festival in Virginia Beach. The doors open at 1030. The event is from 11 to 4. We'll have an Olympic mm -hmm. run uh, <laughs> uh, around the track before we get started with all the events. And we're partnering with the City of Virginia Beach and the Sheriff's Department and the Police Department. And... Uh, all the proceeds will benefit child abuse prevention, our stop abuse program called Simon Says Which Just Tell. Which is this guy right here. And that's Simon. He's the main character in a very gentle and wonderful show that teaches young children how to recognize, prevent, and disclose sexual abuse. And we see Sheriff Stoley is on the front there. So, Sheriff, for you, what does it mean to be a part of something like this well, and being it, in your field? Well, it's, it's extremely important if you, if you consider child abuse. It all starts with the children, the, the, the victims. You know they're, they're preyed on by the the predators, and and we got to educate them to to expose what has happened to them, and uh, it's critically important. And in your line of work, I'm sure when dealing with the kids and seeing those unfortunate situations, having a fun doll, right. it just gives them that ability to kind of speak up. Well, it, it's the education of them, and, and this assignment helps educate the children that they should speak up and they shouldn't be afraid to expose what's happened to them. And you've had a great success rate with this, um, this whole entire program. We have thousands of young children have avoided being sexually molested because Simon tells them who to tell, how to tell, and, and the right thing to do. Simon is kind of that inner voice that mm -hmm. speaks to children everywhere. So, and many child molesters have been arrested and incarcerated as a direct result of this program. And funding, do you have a certain number in mind? Or, I mean, I'm sure every bit, bit helps. Every dollar helps. <laughs> it's very hard to get funding for this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, we have to rely on events like the Fandango Festival and, and people just making donations to help us keep afloat and keep bringing the program back to the school and to the kids. Did you want to add something? It, it's, a, it's a great time and it's a great cause, and, and I think everybody will enjoy it if they come on out. And aside from the Fundango Festival, just in general, what can people do? What can parents be doing to you know, educate their kids about these, uh, you know, these situations well, and it, potential? It, 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 they need to talk to their kids, and that's what Simon helps you know, explain what, what the children, should, the conversations they should be having with their children, and, and the parents should be having with their children. And if, if, if the children don't feel comfortable in exposing what's happened, then, then the law enforcement community will never know what's going on. And so they've got to, we've got to get to the children and, and let them know that th th their body's theirs and it shouldn't be violated by anybody else. This is a great program out there for at the 11th Annual Fundango Festival, Saturday, May 17th, at their new home, the Virginia Beach Sportsplex. You can go to the website, kidsfundangofestival.com. As always, Regina and Sheriff Stolley, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you very you. much.